Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to set up a shared internet connection uh, with some computers that are on an, I guess you could say, an isolated network using static IP addresses. So let's say you have these three computers here on their own little internal network, statically assigned addresses, 10.101, 102, 103, and they could just talk to each other, but they can't get out to the internet because nothing's connected to the internet. And so let's say you wanted to get these computers on the internet, but you didn't want to have to install... Uh, separate network cards into all these computers because you want them to still communicate on this internal static IP address network right here. And let's say you have a bunch of them and you don't want to have to try and get them all connected individually. So what you could do is you could set up this internet connection sharing and all you need to do is get a second ad network adapter in one of the computers that's attached to the, the internet via your modem or router or whatever. So we have the sec second network adapter card and it's getting this IP address via DHCP from the modem or router and then this computer here is going to have internet and then we're going to connect these computers to this computer for the internet connection. Okay, so first what we're going to do, we're going to go to this .103 computer and configure the internet sharing and then we'll go to this 102 computer and set it up to use this computer for its internet access. Alright, so here's the 103 computer I have the internal only static IP address 103 and then I have the secondary network card which I just renamed shared internet just for simplicity's sake and if I do an IP config you can see here's the 10.103 and here's the 13.132 from this other card here. Okay so back on this uh, network adapters here for the shared internet, we want to right click it, properties, sharing tab, and then check this box to allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. And then you could decide if you want to leave this checked or not, if you want them to be able to, say, to control or disable their shared internet connection. Say OK. You're going to message saying it's going to change the network adapter IP address of the other one to 192.168.137.1. So just say yes. And then you have to go back to your other one here, your static IP address card. Change this back to 10.103, say OK, and OK. So now we're going to go over to this other computer and see if we could make sure we can still ping 103. OK. And so this is the uh, 102, and I can go here and show you the same thing. 102. All right, so 102 is talking to 103 via the network, and then 103 can talk to the Internet. Okay, so like I said, 103 is talking to the Internet via 132, and then we need to have set up now 102 to connect to 103 via the Internet connection sharing. So back to 102. Okay, we already will start from the beginning here. You just want to go to your properties again, TCP IP4, TCP IP v4, and for the gateway, we want to put the 192.168.10.103 because, like I said, we're connecting through 103 to get to the network adapter here to get to the internet. And then we're going to use a Google DNS address because you got to have DNS configured, so you could use this one or another generic, you know, external DNS address, public one on the internet. Click OK, click OK. Okay, so now let's go over here, try a ping. So now you can see we have internet connection on this one, and then ping. And we're still talking on our other network adapter, or the same network adapter, still talking on the same network with the static IP address back to 103. Just like that. So once again, just put a secondary network adapter in one of the computers. And let's go back to this one. Once you have it configured there, once it's live and connecting to the internet, properties, sharing tab, check the box, then change this IP address back to the static one it was because, you know, it's going to change it once you enable the network sharing. Then go to your other computers, properties, change the gateway to match the 
uh, one that's connected to the internet. Use a DNS server and you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.